So unless you've been living under a rock, you know that in the last couple of days, a story has broke about Russell Brand, the comedian, allegedly doing some not-so-nice things. And I wanted to kind of share my thoughts on it and where it's placed us as a society. And the allegations that have been made against him are pretty damn serious. I think we can all agree on that. And I don't want to make light of them in any way. The honest truth is, I have no idea what really happened. Nor do any of us. It's all speculation and conjecture at this point. What I do know is this. The conviction in the media, it's already happened. Innocent until proven guilty, as was formally guaranteed in our Constitution, no longer applies. Anonymous claims with no real collaborating evidence, at least so far, about something that may or may not have happened over a decade ago are all that is needed to have you tried, convicted, and sentenced in the court of public opinion, especially if you happen to be male. And as many of the men I've interviewed over the years will tell you, even when actual police investigations or even jury trials have completely exonerated them, they're still guilty in the eyes of the public. They're tarnished forever. At this point, all we know is that an accusation has been made. That's it. No evidence has been given. No police investigation has been started as of the time I'm filming this. Nothing other than allegations in the media. And let me be clear. If Brand is in fact guilty, I hope they throw the book at him. But what if? What if he isn't guilty? What if this is, as many have claimed, him being targeted for his political beliefs? What if he's found completely innocent? What then? You can't undo the damage that's already been done. He will forever be labeled based on these accusations, even if they're completely unfounded and untrue. And here's the other thing that many people aren't thinking about. The damage that applies to him also applies to every single male you know. Your father, your son, your husband, your brother. Every man you know, every man you love, is guilty by association simply because he happened to be born male. All you have to do is look at what's being said about this particular case. And it is being applied using the it's all men label. Every man you've ever known or ever will know is guilty just by being a male. Tried, convicted, and sentenced by society for simply being born male. Maybe, just maybe, we should start following the Constitution and have a presumption of innocence until you are proven guilty.